Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today is the day I am going to be doing my giveaway for y'all. This is for my true supporters and I know who y'all are. Um, I will go through all the rules at the end. There's not that many. I'm not going to make you jump through hoops, do backflips and all that. You know, as I said before, it's going to be pretty simple and easy. Um, and this is just to give a little back to uh, my supporters who have helped me, you know, through all these past couple of months, you know, learning the ropes here on YouTube and have just been so sweet and helpful and supportive. And I just wanted to give a little something back to, uh, to y'all. Um, now this is, it's not a huge one. I got a couple of high end items and the rest is just little odds and ends. And, um, the other is a taste of Louisiana, as I like to call it. I want to give you a little something from my home state. Um, stuff I love and to let y'all try and see if y'all like it too. Just want to share a little bit of myself I guess you could say and a lot of this the makeup stuff I do love also and some of it is new that I'm sharing with you. But let's go ahead and get started. As I said there is a little taste of Louisiana in here and y'all know I love coffee. So I got y'all a couple things of coffee and this is community coffee. They are made here in Louisiana. They sell them in surrounding area, you know, Louisiana, Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas and all that. And you can find them online at communitycoffee.com I think it is. So you can get them anywhere. Um, now I did get you just the regular old breakfast blend. This is just, you know, it's a medium roast and it's really good. It's not bitter at all. It's one of my favorites. And the other one that I got you, I actually did a little dance in the aisle at Kroger because this is a lemon time only flavor. They had it last year and I sent Nikki Murphy some and I loved it. She loved it. And they just come out this past week. Was it again? It's the vanilla cream brulee. So I picked y'all up one. I picked me up like four or five. <laughs> I can't remember. All I know is I stocked up on them because I love them. Y'all know I'm, a, I'm addicted to coffee. So I got you the vanilla cream brulee. This one, you don't need cream or sugar. It's unless you want um, it's good by itself, or you can put cream and sugar in it. I like the Kroger cream brulee um, creamer with it, so, and it makes it taste even more like cream brulee. So that's really good. And the next thing you've probably all seen before, and that's Tabasco sauce, the original. Um, if you've ever seen how this is made, they age the peppers um, for four years. So a lot of work goes in these little bitty bottles. It's great on a lot of stuff. Um, I like mine mostly on eggs usually but you can put it on just about anything you want to put it on beans um like collard greens stuff like that you can tell them from the south collard greens but yeah you can put it on anything and it tastes great and it's not too spicy because i can't handle stuff that's too spicy so it's really really good the next thing i also sent to um to nikki and she couldn't say it i'm gonna tell y'all how to say it because it does not look like it, it it sounds and it is tony satchery as you see it's spelled with a c-h-a it's pronounced saturies this is a creole seasoning this is the original it goes great on everything like it says on here um you can put it on anything you want uh beans i mean rice you know like red beans and rice um meats i my favorite way though is on french fries seasoning and making them uh french fries and putting this on there I love this on French fries. That's my favorite way to eat it. And a little goes a long way with this. It's not too spicy or anything. It's just, you know, a little goes a long way. You get a lot of flavor in that little bitty bottle right there. The other two things are made here. And these are kind of like two dishes, I guess you could say. Um, this is by Oak Grove Smokehouse. It's the Cajun Dirty Rice Mix. They tell you how to make it on the back. You don't have to put any meat in here. Sausages are the best in here. Um, I love andouille sausage in here. Um, you could put just like the Eck Ridge regular sausage or kielbasa or whatever you want. And the directions on the back telling you how to do it. That's one of my favorite things to eat here. And that's a Louisiana staple. And the other one that's really my favorite is the Creole Jambalaya Mix. I love jambalaya. Jambalaya and etouffee are probably my favorite two dishes here. Um, I love to put shrimp and chicken in this. Those, that's my favorite way to do these. And I don't, It says on the back how to do it. These are so good. I mean, you don't have to put any meat in it, but the meat really makes it real, a lot better, to, in my opinion. But these, I just wanted to share these with y'all, and y'all could, you know, try them and see what you thought of a little Louisiana food, because Louisiana food is like nothing else on the planet. It, it, once you've had it, you want it again at least most people i know do because there's just something about louisiana food 
and y'all know that I love my mainstays wax cubes so I got y'all a few of those I got you uh, two of my favorites I got the peach and mango that was the last one they had too and I got you two of the cranberry mandarin ones I love these both of them go all through the house great scent throw these smell really fresh and clean and they smell just like cranberry and mandarin they I love them y'all know I love those now let's get on to the makeup part uh, and kind of skincare too <laughs> I got you one of the Burt's Bees hand repair kits like I have the, um, it has the my favorite cuticle cream by far the lemon butter cuticle cream is one of the best it smells like lemon cake and the almond and milk hand cream and the intense repair cream with the gloves the intense repair cream is great I've used mine I put the gloves on because my hands were really dry and the next day they felt perfect and were looked so much better so I got y'all one of these I'm trying I'm trying to put everything over here to get it out of my way so I don't fall but it's probably gonna fall over there too so if I go oh my god that's what happened <laughs> okay and y'all know I love my sudden change face mask so I picked y'all one up this right here it's a whole tube of it so you got a lot of uses out of it it revitalizes the skin it does what it promises it changes the texture of your skin it kind of wakes your skin up it makes it a little bit brighter when you use it I love this stuff guys this is anytime my skin is feeling bleh, I use this and do the rest of my skincare put on my makeup and my skin looks and feels so much better so I got y'all one of those and I got this nitty bitty back here. It's from LA Colors. This is uh, part of their new collection they got out. They got some new lip stuff and eye stuff. It's a new matte line, I think, is what it is. This is a little bitty coin purse, and I just put a few lip, a uh, few of their lip products in here. Um, I hauled in my haul, and I got these for myself also. The new matte lipsticks. I got you the one in Stay Put Plum and Going Steady. That's Stay Put Plum, and that's Going Steady. I got y'all those. And I got you the new Pout Matte Lip Gloss. And this one is in Let's Kiss. I thought that was a real good universal color. So it should look good on pretty much anybody. And I can't get this one out the bag. And y'all know I love my LA Colors High Shine Shea Butter Lip Glosses. Y'all know I love these. See, I'm about to throw your stuff already. I love these. They are highly pigmented for lip glosses. They're not sticky. I just love them and I got you the one in Mingle and this is my favorite one it's a little bit darker um, but I love this one so I want I got y'all one of those Let me go ahead and zip that one up and I got you a Fergie lipstick in Divinity Chilled looks like that kind of reminds me of uh, Max Plum Dandy it's a very pretty color and I got you a Rimmel Show Off in Orangeology. Really bright orange color. I thought that would be good in the summer or the spring. And this bag here is probably what I'm going to put most of the uh, makeup in. Just, it's just a silver bag. i um, not sure who it's by. I already took the tag off. <laughs> but I um, got this on. put most of the makeup in for y'all. So a little extra back there. It's pretty big. And this bag right here, I got when I bought some brushes off of eBay. This is by Clinique. It's from their 2004 collection, and it unzips up here. And I just put a few goodies in here. I put y'all a couple of face masks. I put you a Bio Republic uh, Cucumber Breeze Soothing Fiber Mask. This is really good, like if you uh, have sunburn or something, it really helps calm your face. And I got you my favorite Freeman Dead Sea Minerals Anti-Stress Mask. You look like a Smurf with this. But it works, guys, and my skin feels so good after I use it. And I get about two to three uses out of that, depending on how much I want to use at one time. And another thing I can't live without, without is the Nivea Cream. This is the real thick version. This is really great if you have really bad cracked hands or cracked feet. I'll put it on my feet, and I'll put some socks on, and the next morning I wake up, my feet are like new. So this is really good. And you can also use it to tame flyaways, which I could probably use right now because my hair looks like a squirrel had a party in the back of it. But anyway... <laughs> got you one of those and those are great to keep in your purse too and y'all know that I already had um, the LA Colors Brown Buzz little eyeshadow palette my neighbor bought it for me and gave it to me but since I already had it I told her I was gonna put it in my giveaway so I've got that in there and it is really pretty well pigmented guys I have used it uh, quite a bit and I showed you I got some of the um, wet and wild cruelty vegan free cruelty 
free vegan brushes. Okay, Nita, English. Y'all know we just don't get along. Evidently, not today either. <laughs> I got you two of the large eyeshadow brushes. We can all use more of those and a concealer brush. And I got you three chapsticks. I got you my fa uh, one of my favorites, uh, the cake batter. And my all-time favorite, it's a brand new one, but it's become my favorite. It's the watermelon splash. See, there we go again. English, Nita, English. Watermelon splash. It smells like, um, y'all know the Bubblelicious watermelon gum? It smells just like that to me. And this new one here is Key Lime. I've never tried it. It's part of their Tropical Paradise collection. I've never tried it, so y'all gonna have to let me know what y'all think about it. Let me know if I'm gonna have to go get my own. Let me put everything back in here so I don't lose anything. <laughs> there we go. Okay. And I got, I showed y'all that I got the Wet n Wild Enhance and Define Soy Protein Enriched Mascara. Got y'all one too, uh, the Wet n Wild. This is a really good first coat mascara. It helps enrich your lashes and helps make them stronger. That's what I like it for. I always put it on first and then I'll follow up with my regular mascara. And y'all know I love my Blistex Deep Renewal. It's what I use to keep my lips youthful looking. I'll put it on every night during my skincare. Um, and you know I love to get the pack where you buy two, get one free. I've never tried the Soft and Lush or the Ultra Rich Hydration, so y'all gonna have to let me know how that is, but I got y'all a pack of that to try. And sorry about that noise. That's my tablet going nuts. And I got you the Wet n Wild Illuminating Palette in Catwalk Pink. Because y'all know me, I love my highlighter, so I had to have a highlighter in here. And I got you one of those little notepads with the high heel and the mirror and the lipstick. And um, it's a Doll 10 Hydrogel Cream Blush in Flirt. I'm gonna show you mine here. So I don't open yours. Looks like that. Real pretty um, summer, spring color. It's real easy to blend out. Really no smell to it. And I got you um, the Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells Egg Trio. I've never tried this, but I hear a lot about it. It's real popular, so I thought it'd be pretty universal. You know, uh, I guess pretty much anybody could wear them. So that's why I went and got, got that, because I thought y'all might like that. I'm gonna have to probably get myself one because I think that's really cute. And y'all know I wanted to get y'all the um, e.l.f. contour brush. But guys, I went to five stores looking for this brush. Couldn't find it, it was sold out everywhere. That tells you how good it is. But I did get you the one I really wanted to get you and that's the e.l.f. Beautifully Bare Blending Brush. This is the one I blend out my contour with. I can blend out powder contour with it, uh, cream contour with it, like my NYX Wonder Stick that uh, Janae I wanted Janae's giveaway. Blends out beautifully with this. Um, I've also used it uh, with my cream blushes. They worked fine. I put you know powder all over my face with it. It's super soft and it works great. But for me, I mainly use it for blending out my contour, and I love it, guys. This is one of my favorite brushes. And y'all know that I love, and I was surprised that I love this so much. And that's what I got on today, along with the other thing I'm gonna show you. The Elf Beautifully Bare Blush in Rose Royalty. This is the cream to powder blush. And I think that's why it stays so well on my skin is it's a cream to powder formula. Guys, I love this. It's such a pretty color. At least to me, I think it's a really pretty color. It's a great spring and summer color. It's what mine looks like. Let me get you a good swatch. Mine's been well loved, as you can see. And it's easy to build up. You can do a little pinch of color, or you can build it up to really really you know really strong and it's that one up top i just think it's such a pretty like candied coral color is what i would call it and no smell to it so that's always a plus and what i have over it and this is what i told you I, if i wear if i don't wear it alone this is what i wear over it is the elf blush in glow it's this right here this is what i'll wear as a blush topper over it and this is mine right here and I just think it's by itself it's a real good light color it's that one at the very top here see how it's really light so if you want to light wash a color and then you put it over top and it just changes the color up just a little bit I just think it's so so pretty 
when you pair these two together they're perfect together and like I said you can wear them by yourself and you get a light wash of color you know if you're doing kind of a no makeup look that's great for that and to put the cream blushes on with I got you one of the best elf brushes the small stipple brushes can be used for a multitude of uses but what I mainly use it for is cream blush and highlighters I have some I love them I use them all the time I use them to death these are some of the best stipple brushes out there so I got you one of those to put that on with now is that everything except for the palette yes <laughs> okay and the last thing that I got y'all is my favorite. It's the Monica Dar Beauty Dream Palette. This is a $39 palette. Um, it contains six eyeshadows, one highlighting powder, and one, one multi-press powder. And it also um, has a blush and a bronzer in it too. I'll show you mine in a second. This is a great everyday palette. I was so excited that I'm able to give y'all one of those because I didn't know what kind of palette I wanted to get y'all. So I'm so excited I was able to get give this to y'all. Ignore the condition of mine. Mine is well loved. This I love this palette. It's great for everyday. Like I said it, before, I can look at this and I don't have to think. I can just put the look together like that. It's just so easy. It's great for every day. This is the one they call the multi-press powder, but it can be used for a highlighter. Your bronzer. Um, that can be another highlighter and this right here is the blush this blush here guys you've got to be careful because if you put too much on you will look like a clown it is super super highly pigmented look at that it is so gorgeous I even more does an eyeshadow one day I like to be crazy sometimes but my favorites as you can see I've got a big dent in that and these three here I just love this palette and I hope you all like it too it is good quality Crispy talks about it a lot. I've heard other people talk about Monica Dar products. I want more of her stuff. I have one of her illuminators for cream illuminators for the face. It's wonderful. So this is really good quality. I love it. It's great for an everyday work look or a real quick look. This is your go-to guy right here. So I've got y'all that. And this is y'all's right here completely closed. So it's brand new. Never been opened. Now, the last thing that I got y'all, I don't have. That is because I want you to pick it out. Whoever wins this, I want you to pick the color out. Remember I told you I wanted to get you a MAC lipstick. Well, I'm not gonna get it until I pick the, you know, pick the winner. And one of the rules is gonna be um, put down your top three MAC lipsticks. Your number one choice, your number two choice, and your number three choice. Just in case they're sold out. That way I have three choices. And hopefully they're not sold out of all three at the same time. Which we never know with MAC. But um, put down below which matte lipsticks that you would like. And that way I will get the color that you want. The color that you picked and you, you know that will look good on you. So that way I'm not just guessing, you know. I've got on me right now Velvet Teddy. It's a real pretty universal color, kind of like the Kylie Jenner lip trend color. It's real easy. I got a little gloss over it. And this is, um, let me see, what is, this is one of their mattes, and it wears really well. It's not too drying, but this is one of their popular colors if you like it. Um, Cream Cup is another one, Angel, Pink Plaid, all those are really good. Uh, Snob, Plum Dandy, all those are really good, but whichever one you, you want, I'm going to get you one of them. Put it down below, number one, two, and three, your fa first, second, and third favorite, and I'll get you uh, get you what you want. Whoever wins, I will run to the store and get it for you. I may be throwing in uh, more stuff, you know, here and there if I see something I think you might like, so I may be doing that. But this uh, this is gonna this giveaway is gonna run until the 29th. I'm gonna pick the winner that night. And I'm going to announce the winner on the 30th. And how we're going to do it, like I said, it's just going to be easy peasy. This is for my true supporters only. And if you subscribe to my channel just to enter this giveaway and unsubscribe afterwards, you will be banned from future giveaways. I will block you from my channel. Whatever I can do. But you will be banned from future giveaways. Let's put it that way. Because I think that is really shitty to subscribe to somebody's channel to try to win free stuff and then unsubscribe and not support them this is for my true subscribers i know who you are my true supporters i know who y'all are i'm a small channel okay really really small channel so i know who you all are and who comments and supports me 
So number one, you have to be subscribed to my channel. The second one, of course, you got to be 18 or older or have your parents' permission if you win so I can get your address. This will only be U.S. only. Sorry, I cannot do international right now. One day I'll be able to, but right now it's going to be U.S. only. I'm sorry, guys. And let's see. The last rule is I want to do a Q&A, and I'd like for y'all to put in your comment below after your top three MAC lipsticks. I'd like you to put a question or questions you would like to ask me in a Q&A. Any question you want to ask me, okay? I don't care what it is. If I don't want to answer it, I'll let you know. But I want to do a future Q&A, so I figured this would be the best way to get questions. But those are the rules, and I will link them down below. Um, any other questions or comments you have, you can email me. I'll always leave my email. And I hope y'all like this. I wish I could make it bigger. But um, I want to thank all y'all who have been with me from the beginning and supporting me. And like I said, this will run to the 29th. And I'll pick the winner that night. And I will announce the winner the next day. I'm probably going to do a ran the random comment generator and do it that way so it's fair. And I'll put the video up on the 30th to let y'all know who wins, okay? Um, thank y'all for all your support. Any questions, comments, email me or leave them down below. And I will talk to y'all later.